How's it going? I hope you're having a hell of a morning. Hopefully I'm gonna make it just a little bit more exciting and interesting. So today on Fearless Gear Reviews, we've got what could possibly be the greatest dirt cheap microphone ever. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. This microphone goes for a whopping 99 bucks over at Sweetwater. And if you're in Europe, there's 79 bucks at Toman. Now, I got interested in this microphone because Ethan Weiner brought this up on our very first audio roundtable uh, that we're now calling Don't Get Mad, Get Evidence. And he was talking about expensive microphones and his one of his personal favorites is this just because it sounds great and is dirt cheap. Now, I've had a bunch of cheap microphones on the show last year. I think I shot out five mics for right around the same price, but apparently the AT2020 is in a different league. This is one of the mics I shot out last year and this is the Samson C01. Wasn't half bad, sure had a pretty good one too, one of the PGs, I think it must have stood for pretty good. Uh, but the ultimate shit show of those microphones was done by PreSonus. It was a fucking embarrassment. I would definitely recommend avoiding that one like the fucking plague. However, I haven't plugged this thing in here. I've had it sitting here for the last couple of weeks. I'm like, okay, let's uh, let's just unbox this, take a peek, see what we get here. Because I'm really curious what our 99 bucks gets us. Okay, we get a manual. That's fine. A uh, little bit of foam. Okay, another manual. Ooh, we get a bag. Ooh, it's got a zipper. Ooh, 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 oh. Okay, and this is the important bit here. This is the mounting ring for the microphone. You are going to need that, don't lose that. But I mean like, and I'm talking $99 condenser microphones, mind you. I mean like, obviously, you know, the great standby of all $99 microphones is the Shure SM57. It is the guitar mic, it is the snare mic for a very good reason. Although snare mic, it might be getting unseated by uh, some other candidates as well. I know Lewitt makes some incredible ones, Lawton does as well as Earthworks for much more expensive money, mind you. But this is what we get here. We have the AT2020. It looks to be pretty damn small capsule inside here. Now we were debating this on the round table. Is this like a full you know, condenser or is this an electric type microphone where it's got a permanent charge or whatnot? I don't know. It, it really doesn't matter all that much. What matters is how does it sound. So let me throw this up on the stand. We're going to try it on vocals and acoustic guitar. And then I'm going to throw it up on the happy cab with those 1977 blackbacks that I demoed a couple weeks ago. And here how this sounds as a guitar mic as well. This might be the ultimate bargain bin mic. I don't know. Let's plug it in. Let's find out how it sounds. Here we go. All right, so I've got the mic set up. I've got the acoustic mic up. And my first thing I'm noticing here is this mic does need a fair amount of gain on a quieter source like an acoustic guitar. Let's get something straight here. I'm not an acoustic player. This is the first time in the entire history of the show I've ever played an acoustic guitar. So try not to laugh too hard at my lack of acoustic technique. This is all just about demoing the mic, not showing off my guitar skills. <laughs> Double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange drink. Anybody remember that one? Okay, so that's acoustic guitar. Let's figure out how this thing works on vocals. Hey! Yeah, I think it works on metal screaming. I think that's going to do the trick. Fine. Seems to work pretty well as a spoken word microphone as well. Let's get a quote here in just one sec. Okay, so for spoken word, we'll just try a little wisdom from uh, one of my idols, George Carlin. Some people see things that are and ask why. Some people dream of things that never were and ask why not. Some people have to go to work and don't have time for all that. All right, so I've now moved the AT2020 over to the Happy Cab. We've got it mic'd up on those glorious 1977 blackbacks. I'm running through the Engel Fireball 100 with no boost or anything like that. This is just guitar into the amp, into the Happy Cab, and that is it. And this is what we're getting. <laughs> Thank you. 
lost my pick there, but wow, I was having a lot of fun. Uh, all I can say is, damn, that mic rules on guitar. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that is all kinds of fun. Dimension of the mics, only 99 bucks. That is it. Now I've got the Neve set at 44 dBs of gain, but it's got the 25 dB pad in. So what's 44 minus 25? Uh, so I guess that's about a total of 19 dBs of gain on that mic. So it does not need a lot in front of a loud cabinet, that's for sure. But wow, is that ever glorious. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm in love with that tone. Works equally well on leads. Oh yeah, that is super cool. Now just by way of comparison, here's uh, the SM57 mic'd up on the same cabinet. <laughs> Uh, granted, that's a little bit quieter than the AT2020, and I've got the AT2020 uh, pretty much dead center on the dust cap on that one. Maybe just a little bit off to the side. And because of physical limitations, we got the 57 off on more of the cone as well. But really, when you compare the two, it's a uh, pretty stark night and day. <laughs> I think we might have just found a hidden gem microphone. I'm really blown away. Uh, listening to the playback of the spoken word, I thought it was a little distorted. It's something I'd probably want to play with a little more. Maybe that mic isn't so good for close-in vocals. Maybe it can't handle uh, the volume levels or whatnot. It seemed to be just a little bit distorted. Might work really cool on metal vocals though, but for super clean spoken word, maybe back it off a little bit. But anyway, I'm really curious as a guitar mic how this will work on a full mix. So let's roll the clip. So there you go. At 99 bucks, the Audio Technica AT2020 is an absolute fucking steal. Uh, it's great on acoustic guitar and it's really great on metal guitar cabinets. It's a wonderful alternative to the SM57 and costs roughly the same price. Yeah, that is a complete and total steal. Now I gotta give my hats off to Mr. Ethan Weiner. Great suggestion, Ethan. I don't know if I'm using it exactly the same as you would, but uh, that's the whole cool thing about audio engineering. Uh, you find cool uses for things people might not think of as traditional microphones and whatnot. So yeah, the AT2020 definitely gets a raging thumbs up here on Fearless Gear Reviews. And yes, Fearless Gear Reviews, this is my show that is completely independently funded. Nobody sent me this microphone. Nobody's paying me to make this show other than you guys. You fund it through Monday Mix Reviews and whatnot. But I was just genuinely curious to see if it is good as people have been saying. And yes, on a couple of applications, especially good stringed instruments, that kind of thing, I gotta say, damn, this thing is absolutely fucking stellar. Well done, Audio Technica. Nice 
the job. This is definitely the best $99 microphone I have ever played, and nobody's paying me to say this at all. There's some $200 mics I definitely want to check out as well down the road, but uh, for $99, yes, what, what $99 mic should you get? If you need a condenser, yeah, get this first because it's absolutely fucking stellar. Now, if you guys want to see more shows like this, make sure to drop on by Monday Night Mix Reviews. Uh, bring a song. If you want to get some feedback on your mix, I'll be more than happy to help you out. It's a great crowd in there. You can get some wonderful suggestions on what you should get to apply to your mixes, not only in terms of mixing strategy, but, you know, software recommendations, all that kind of cool stuff as well. Now, if you really want to keep on top of things, follow the link in the description below and sign up for the Spectre digital mailing list. We will keep you on top of what's going on. And what's more is if you sign up now, I'm going to give you 10% off your first purchase on anything on the Spectre digital website. So yeah, you want to save a couple bucks and keep on top of things, definitely check that out. Oh yeah, and of course, I've got affiliate links to the AT2020 below as well. If you want to check it out, I've got links to Toman and Sweetwater. If you click on those, you make a purchase. I do make a couple bucks and that allows me to do things like pay my editors and buy cool shit to review for you guys. So that's how that works. Anyway, thanks again for watching, subscribing, all that good stuff. Make sure you sign up for the mailing list because I do want to give you a deal. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.